Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and this is a form of a water lens. This is a clear acrylic tank that I made. You can see that it gets a little fat right in the middle as the water pushes out. The weight of the water does that. This water is about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. It heated up for being in the sun. The water lens had little to do with the temperature of the water. These black posts heated the water and also this. Not a super good water heater. It wasn't really designed for that. What I am going to do is take this and fill it with very cold water and you're going to be able to see the temperature change. We're filled with uh, water and red food coloring. This water is very cold. This water is about 130 degrees. This water is about 45 degrees. I'm going to use this piece of tape and right now air pressure is keeping the water in. So I'm going to try to do this without spilling any in there. And you're going to notice that even though you should be able to see how well that shows the heat transfer. You can actually see the cold water coming out of there. There's a tiny little air bubble from what we spilled. This water is no longer cold. It's actually warm in that short period of time. So even though it didn't really exchange as, as much as you'd think, this has cooled down significantly and this has warmed up significantly. For those of you that concluded that the red food coloring was heavier so it was just falling out, we are going to reverse it. We've got warm water in here. It's not as warm as it was before. Uh, I added a little bit of hot water and then this is the cold clear water in the Pyrex. You get to see what happens. So you can see that the food coloring had nothing to do with it. You just simply have the two temperature differences try to balance themselves out so the cold water drops to the bottom. The warm water or hot water wants to rise to the top. So in this case it took the food coloring up with it because the food coloring is actually designed to be the same weight as the water. And this would be true all the way up to here. The same thing would happen. I don't know if you can see it but there's still water coming out of the bottom and stuff going to the top. If these were the same temperature you would have this would be clear and this would be red or this would be red and this would be clear you wouldn't have any exchange it's the temperature that's doing everything. I'm your host Dan Rojas thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.